Hello everyone, and today I'll be starting a new series. Uh, this will be higher level computer science, system fundamentals. Uh, starting with system fundamentals, and the first uh, syllabus statement is 1.1.1. Identify the context for which a new system is planned. So basically, um, this whole introductory topic is the, to analyze the needs for a new system within an organization. So we have some, the teacher's, teacher's notes include the extent and limitations of a new system should be appreciated, organizational issues related to the installation of new systems such as user roles underlying technologies. So first of all, we have to identify the context for which a new system is planned. So the context could mean several things as, as um, here. It might mean a new situation, environment, or a particular requirement. And for this context, we have to collect in ideas, new ideas to analyze the problems. Uh, we might observe, we might uh, do some interviewing workers, and we might also collect sample printouts. That's the particular context right there. The extent and limitations of the new system should be appreciated. So extent might uh, might mean the features whether they are needed or not needed and limitations or drawbacks might uh, might be for example time to upload is slow or it's inefficient and the organizational issues this might mean how the system will be used and some whether there are some te technical problems where software and hardware will be installed the underlying technologies might include the OS used, some networking or hardware being used, or some communication protocol. So the best way to um, explain 1.1.1 is through an example, such as MIS, which is the Management Information System. And this means, um, for, like, uh, for example, let's say your school has a new way of registering new students registering students in the morning and the afternoon like my school does with Firefly so this uh, management information system before or prior to moving to Firefly this, this new system first has to be identified as there are lots of different positives and there are lots of different drawbacks of moving to a new system here, of which a new system is planned. For example, the positive might include less paper used for register, some uh, really quick attendance, and it's web-based. But some drawbacks might include uh, translate, uh, tra sorry, sorry, staff training, and sometimes it's hard or difficult to adjust to this particular new system. So we have, before we change to the new system, we have to. Uh, set some objectives. Ob objectives, and these may include some strategical change, some technological change, and maybe if it if there is techno technological advancement, some workers may be redundant. So that's topic 1.1.1. Identify the context for which a new system is planned.